lab diagnosis of jaundice firstly jaundice is yellowish discoloration of skin and mucous membrane because of hyperbilirubinemia that is increased bilirubin content in the blood increased bilirubin in blood and also because of deposition of the bile pigments now this is clinically detectable when the plasma bilirubin exceeds more than 3 mg per deciliter when the serum bilirubin or the plasma bilirubin is more than 3 mg per deciliter then the jaundice is clinically detectable normal levels of total plasma bilirubin it is 0.2 to 0.8 mg per deciliter for unconjugated bilirubin it is 0.2 to 0.6 mg per deciliter and conjugated it is 0 to 0.2 mg per deciliter and when the plasma bilirubin levels is more than 1 mg per deciliter it is called as hyperbilirubinemia and when the levels are between 1 to 2 mg per deciliter it is called as latent jaundice and when it is more than 2 mg per deciliter it diffuses into the tissues and there will be discoloration of eyes sclera and when it is more than 3 mg per deciliter the jaundice is clinically detectable when the bilirubin content it is more than 3 mg per deciliter jaundice is clinically detectable the samples that are used for lab diagnosis of jaundice are blood or serum urine and then stool so the tests that are employed for detecting the bilirubin levels serum bilirubin levels are estimated quantitatively and the normal levels are compared with the patient's values and then vandenberg test is done and then serum enzymes like ast alt ggt and alp are estimated quantitatively and then urine bilirubin levels are checked for conjugated bilirubin levels urinary bile salts and urobilinogen and urobilin content in the stool is checked firstly lab diagnosis using the blood sample serum bilirubin if there is increase in unconjugated bilirubin in the serum that is because of prehepatic or hemolytic jaundice whereas if there is an increase in conjugated bilirubin the cause is either post hepatic or obstructive jaundice if there is increase in both conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin in serum the cause is either hepatic or hepatocellular jaundice vanden another test that is used for diagnosing jaundice using the blood sample is vandenberg reaction so if there is increase in unconjugated bilirubin in serum the vandenberg test will be indirect positive which indicates the the cause of the jaundice is either prehepatic or hemolytic if there is increase in only conjugated bilirubin the vandenberg test will be direct positive and the cause of jaundice will be either post hepatic or obstructive jaundice and if there is increase in both conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin the vandenberg test will be biphasic positive and the cause will be hepatic or hepatocellular jaundice and then uh, another test for diagnosing jaundice using blood sample is serum enzyme estimation in which the increase in ast and alt uh, indicates the cause of the jaundice as hepatic or hepatocellular whereas increase in ggt and alp indicates the cause of jaundice as post hepatic or obstructive jaundice. lab diagnosis using urinary sample detection of bile salts in urine if these bile salts are absent it indicates the cause is prehepatic or hemolytic jaundice and the bile salts if they are present in urine that indicates hepatic or post hepatic jaundice next detection of bilirubin in urine so detection of bilirubin means presence of conjugated bilirubin in urine only urobilinogen is present normally bilirubin is not present in urine so conjugated bilirubin if it is present that indicates the cause as hepatic or post hepatic jaundice and if it is absent the cause is pre hepatic jaundice next is detection of urobilinogen in urine urobilinogen if it is increased in amount that indicates pre hepatic jaundice and if urobilinogen is increased in early cholestatic phase later decreased and then reappearance if it is reappearance that indicates hepatic jaundice reappearance of urobilinogen in hepatic jaundice is earliest sign of recovery 
and if urobilinogen is absent that indicates post hepatic jaundice and then detecting uh, lab diagnosis of jaundice using stool sample by testing urobilinogen urobilins in stool if these urobilins are increased that indicates prehepatic jaundice and if urobilins are normal or decreased that indicates hepatic jaundice and if urobilins are absent that indicates post hepatic or obstructive jaundice